City by City is presented by Carl F. Bucherer, Fine Swiss Watchmaking. Like much of China, sprawling Beijing is undergoing an extraordinary transformation. After billions of dollars were poured into the city for the 2008 Olympics, a stunning new China was introduced to the world. Visitors will enjoy savoring its ancient history, exploring monasteries, imperial palaces and traditional Hutong neighborhoods, but it's impossible not to marvel at the contemporary side of this chaotic and evolving metropolis. With its striking modern architecture, international art scene and vibrant youth culture. In a city with no shortage of luxury hotels, a stylish, more intimate alternative is the Emperor, perfectly located on a tree-lined neighborhood close to the Forbidden City and Imperial Palace. Light, airy and with tangerine hues, the Emperor combines traditional culture with modern design, offering guests a wide choice of clean, minimalist rooms. Splashes of color, suede walls and contemporary lines work harmoniously with historic design motifs, making this a cool hideaway in the middle of town. Fittingly, each guest room is named after its very own imperial ruler. As Beijing makes waves in the international art scene, the 798, or Das Hansi Art Zone, is attracting huge crowds. It used to be a military factory, and the buildings were built by Eastern Germany in the 1950s. 798 attracts Chinese nationals and foreigners for its rare Bauhaus design, as well as its cafes, art studios, internationally known artists, and over 200 galleries. The complex, with its arched ceilings and prized Mao-era proletarian slogans, is indeed a work of art itself. When it used to be a factory, they wrote all the slogans about Chairman Mao or Live Long or something else in the Cultural Revolution. By the year 2004, uh, the owner of the factory wanted to tear this place down and rebuild it, all the buildings. But the artists here, they, they think that architecture here is really a treasure for the world. There's a lot to see here. To wind down the day, escape the frenetic urban energy of Beijing at Zen Spa, a wellness center and day spa located in a traditional Chinese courtyard house. Guests yearning for rejuvenation can take it down a notch, rediscovering physical and spiritual well-being at the hands of holistic therapists. We have 10 Chinese therapists and two, two Thai therapists. Most treatments we copy from Thai style. You can choose what you like and also you can choose what is suitable for your, your feeling. Soothing therapies accentuated by flowers, essential oil and herbs are derived from centuries of Asian tradition. Enjoy massage or perhaps even that navel therapy you've been promising yourself and you'll feel born again. See more of the new Beijing at 1949, the hidden city where another former factory has been converted to a dining and entertainment destination. Enter Duc de Chine, and you'll be impressed by its industrial chic atmosphere and high timbered ceilings. Feel free to start at the Champagne Bar, but the main attraction is of course Peking Duck. Fire roasted with applewood and expertly carved, the duck is set aside with its perfectly crisp skin. Somehow, perhaps even with expert instruction, you'll learn the traditional way of preparing and eating the delicious duck-filled pancakes of this world-famous dish. It's very easy. One, two, and three. Yeah. So the sauce never come out. Okay.
Heading through an unlikely shopping mall, it's hard to believe you're about to step into one of Beijing's coolest clubs. But here you are entering this gorgeous, cavernous, two-leveled space with sensual lighting and curving textured walls. It's called Song. The design was inspired by the terraces of southern Chinese rice fields and the wavy walls, made from multiple layers of wood, provide another function, rich acoustics for the music, which along with the design is another focus of this establishment. Kick back, have a drink in this beautiful venue. Song is definitely a must-see. Beijing is a city on the fast track. Definitely not immune to growing pains, the city, formerly known as Peking, nevertheless continues to offer simple joys. Wander the old neighborhoods, cruise the markets, for goods or for colorful culinary treats. Go ahead, try something. Shish kebab, anyone? City by City is presented by Carl F. Bucherer, fine Swiss watchmaking. All original shows, all in HD, from onnetworks.com.